Hey Sally, I think I see some cranes up there. Let's try to find them. Oh, there they are, Sally. There you see them at the edge of the pond there? At the edge of the lake? There they go, they're flying away. Let me show you, you see them, Sally? I got the, the pointer toward them. There they go, they're going around. Hey Sally, which bird can carry the heaviest weights? A crane. Which bird does construction work? A crane. Oh, where do they go, Sally? There, I can't find them anymore. I, oh, there's one, Sally. I got the pointer. There's one. And I don't see them again. Oh, here they come. They're coming around. There they are, Sally. What do you call a crane after it's six months old? Seven months old. Oh, there's that crane. He's coming closer. Oh, Sally, I have a picture of a crane that, that we have. And this, uh, the whooping crane is in North America. And it's, a lar it's a called that because of its whooping call. It's a very large and endangered crane. It's the tallest North American bird and the only crane species found solely in North America. The whooping crane has an average lifespan of about 24 years in the wild. And it's a whooping crane population fell to about 16 birds in the late 1930s and the American government began efforts to help save the bird from extinction. Their breeding grounds are found in the, in the Wood Buffalo National Park in the Northwest Territories of Canada. In the fall, whooping cranes head to Texas and stay for the winter. Both these habitat areas are protected. There are approximately 320 whooping cranes left in the world, some of which are found in captivity. And also there's the sand hill cranes in North America, and these cranes mate for life. Both parents feed the young, called colts, C-O-L-T-S, uh, who are soon able to feed themselves. They can live up to 25 years in the wild. In captivity, they have been known to live more than twice that span. Mated pairs stay together year-round and migrate south as a group, of, group with their offspring. In Allensworth, California, is a location of a 6,833-acre grassland and wetland habitats, Prixley National Wildlife Refuge. It is of great interest due to the thousands of sandhill cranes which use this refuge each winter from November through March. Wow, Henry, that's pretty interesting. But uh, that's really all the time we have for now. So, uh, folks, this is your, your information channel, YIC, and we need to be signing off. And we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.